We've been using formulas now pretty extensively and to use our formulas to a much more greater degree and control, we need to get a handle around using variables inside our formulas. So we're going to do this firstly by looking at the item sold and the data report. When it comes to using variables in Crystal Reports, there are a number of stages. The first of which is to declare the variables you wish to use. And by declaring them, we need to give them a name and a data type. We then need to assign some values to those variables. And then thirdly, we need to use those variables within our report itself. So let's use the item sold report and look at how we would declare a variable. So we go into formula fields, a new formula. We're going to call this sample. Now the stages to using a variable within Crystal Reports are firstly, you need to declare that variable and its type. So if we wanted to create a variable to hold a currency, we need to declare that as a currency variable. And we do that by saying currency var. Notice how it goes blue. We then need a space and then our variable needs a name so that we can reuse that variable over and over again. I'm going to call this top val. After the name of the variable, we then put colon equals so that we can assign a value to top val. And I'd like total value to actually be the current price multiplied by the current quantity. And then at the end of that line, I need a semicolon. The semicolon is vitally important so that Crystal Reports knows that this is the end of the programming. Now, if you're not sure what the variable types are and of the exact syntax along here, Crystal Reports can help you out. If we go to the operators, and come down to variable decorations, you'll see that there are lots of variable types, Boolean var, currency var, date time var, date var, number var, string var, time var. We're looking for a currency var because we want to hold currency. So I come down to currency var, the bottom option here, the three above are about a range and an array. We want to do the currency var static value effectively. And if I double click, you'll see that it places the colon and the equals in for you and the semicolon that will appear at the end of the line. What I then need to do here is give my variable a name and the working out in this case will be the current price divided by three. So that's the declaration of your variable, naming the variable and assigning it a value all in the same line really. If we wanted to do things in separate lines, which is achievable, we could say currency var min val. Notice it hasn't gone blue. So I've got a space there, so it's currency var, min val, semicolon. And I don't need to do the colon equals because I'm not assigning a value at that stage. If I then wish to assign it a value, I would say min val, colon equals. It's always colon equals after a variable name. And then I can do my TBL price divided by two. Don't forget the semicolon at the end. These semicolons are vitally important when you're doing your variable declarations. So all of the declarations are carried out inside a formula, and then that formula gets used as we need it to be used. Now for the moment, I'd like to remove these three items, because that will just confuse things. I've declared the variable, I've given the variable the name, and I've assigned it a value. I then can do a check, no errors found, save and close. And I can then take my sample field and drop that into the details section. Let's place it here where we have a space, and you'll see that effectively, it's doing exactly the same as that one there, mathematically. I have dollars because I've declared this as a currency var, so it's put the default currency symbol already on there. No need for me to format the field. And in essence, this really is doing nothing much more than the total formula that we created before. But it's the flexibility that we will now have when dealing with variables. So we create them inside a formula. You declare their data type. And if you're unsure of the potential data types, they are listed under variable decorations on the operators on the right here. Then we give it a name. Then we assign a value, colon equals, then a semicolon. If you want to do this on separate lines, then we can do the currency var declaration, finish with a semicolon, and then the assignment on a new line. Again, finishing with a semicolon. And those two lines are effectively the same as that line as far as an end result goes. So we could leave either one in place. Let's leave the other one in place. Check, no errors found, save and close. And we see exactly the same result because effectively we've done the same thing. These are variables. We're going to see shortly, obviously, how we can use them much more flexibly 
than a straightforward formula, but in this case, we've used it to work out the same result. We declare a variable, which is a box to hold information in. We then assign a value to that box, and we can use that box then in our reports.